friends, it's Jackie Ballheis from Clomp and Stampers. Are you ready to make a quick, easy card that's really focusing just on using stamps, ink, and paper? You know, for those of you that follow me, you know I don't like to use a lot of stuff. You know, I think card making should be quick and easy, and we can make some beautiful things without you know, lots and lots of stuff and feeling totally overwhelmed. If you're a newer card maker, I think you're gonna like this card I have today. Again, just a lot of stamp sync and paper, a few layers, a few dimensionals, pop stuff up a little bit, and it's gonna be a fun card to send to a friend. I am all about sending happy mail. You know, in the times we're living in right now, there's nothing better than getting a handmade card in the mail from someone just unexpectedly. And so the set I'm using today, which is called Lovely You, is perfect for that. Now quickly, before we flip the camera down and get stamping, welcome to those of you that might be finding my videos for the very first time. I usually share a couple videos a week, all centered around quick and easy card making. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. You can hop over to my website, you can request a catalog if you don't have one, and I'm here to help you in any way that I can. Now, with all my videos, I always do a corresponding blog post. Over there, I'll have a picture of the card that I'm making for you today, along with a card recipe, which simply means all the cutting directions. So if you wanna copy it, I make it as easy as possible. I'll also have a list over there of all the supplies and colors and everything I use. So that link you're gonna find right down, right down there, I think, in the description of the video that'll take you to my website, my blog post, so that you'll have all the details on what I'm sharing today. And along the way as I make this card, I love to share all kinds of just stamping tips, whether it's for this card or any card that you may be making. Hopefully you'll learn something today. That's always my goal. So without further ado, I'm ready to start stamping. So let me flip the camera down and let's get to work. Hang on one second. Just a quick peek at the stamp set we're using today. It's called Lovely You and it has just some great words. And I love the fonts and the mixed font on this and then some floral images. So the images are all pretty small, so it's easy to just kind of put a bunch of images together, add a greeting, and we're good to go. So let's set that aside. And like I said, I like to just kind of show you some different tricks. So we're gonna do something a little different. I've, I don't know if I've done this in a long time, at least on a video, but I have my piece of cardstock, which I think is three and three quarters by four or by five, but don't quote me on that. Um, again, that measurement will be over on the website. So I am using my grid paper just to make things straight, okay? And I am gonna draw a pencil line across it. And it doesn't really matter exactly where this pencil line is. I know I'm above from the middle just by eyeballing it, but there's no real magic place. Okay, I just, I want it a little bit higher than the center, but it doesn't matter. This pencil line will actually be covered up when I'm all done. So it's just kind of a guide for my stamping. And then I'm gonna take these images. And like I said, they are just these nice big, oh, I caught a little edge there, but that's okay, because it's gonna get covered up. So what I'm doing is I'm just stamping my images to go above the line and then also below the line. So let's kind of do that for those three. So we're using, okay, that was Melon Mambo. And then next, let's go ahead and do some Pear Pizzazz. So we're gonna put that. I actually recently got all new ink pads and boy, are they, Dark, I love it, I love it, I love it. Hopefully they won't be too dark for what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so we've got some pear pizzazz and then crushed curry, let's see, oh, perfect. You know, everyone, my other ink pads were probably four years old and I used them a ton and I just felt like I had re-inked them and re-inked them and it was time to break down and buy some new ones. So that's what I did. Let's see, let's stick that one in there. You know, this is kind of looking like a mess here. I'm hoping I'm not overlapping too much there. And then I'm gonna come down a little bit further on that one. Let's see. Looks like a mess, but see my line there? Now I probably should have kind of used this as a guide as I was going, but this is what we're gonna do. This is gonna cover up that line, okay? So you, you can see here, so all that messy stamping in the middle is covered up. And now I'm just gonna set it there and I can see when I do that where I wanna just fill in with a couple more images. So I think we need a little greenery over here. So let's 
Where did I set it? Got so many stamps here. And this time we're gonna kind of come in with this one, I think. We'll put that there. Let's put a little dab of that one. We can hold it there. See my vision here as we're coming together. Okay, I think, you know, sometimes less is more. You know, we can sit here and go crazy and just stamp, stamp, stamp. But I wanted to do that. Let's put a couple more of the crushed curry. So I think we'll put a partial one there. And how about one right there? There we go. I think we're going to stop right there because otherwise we're going to get too much on it. Let's set that aside. And then I have a strip of basic white as well. And for this one, we're going to take the greetings. Now, like I said, this stamp set has a lot of really nice greetings. And they kind of mix and match. And we're going to be able to put one on the outside and one on the inside. So this one is Love is What Makes Us Family. Oh. Look at, I caught some edges on that. Boy, I'm having a rough time. Okay, we're gonna flip it over though. Beauty of cardstock, you can always stamp on the other side. Um, that's why I always make sure that I stamp on my piece before I adhere it together. Because this is ultimately gonna go layered onto this black. Well, if I would have adhered it down before I did that and stamped it wrong, it would have been wasted. This way, I could just flip it over and use the other side. And then I think we're gonna put a couple flowers on here as well. Now these I want just a little bit lighter. So I stamped it off on scrap paper first and we'll put two of those. And then why don't we get a little bit of this pear pizzazz one. And again, I think we're gonna stamp it off a couple of times. You see how it's so dark. There we go. So there is that layer. Now let's go ahead and grab our adhesive. And we are going to just put a little bit of liquid adhesive on the back of that one. And I had these all pre-cut to size. And again, the blog post will have the exact sizes on these. Let's see. These pieces are kind of small. They're hard to maneuver there. There we go. There is that one. I love, love, love using black cardstock for layering, especially with bright colors. I think it just makes those colors pop. Oh, that one went on crooked. Hmm, we're struggling, guys. Okay, let's put that up. There, you just kind of witness the beauty of liquid adhesive and why I like to use this one. Because you can stick it down and before it dries, you can actually pull it back up or move it around. So we have that piece. And then we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of linen thread. Well, actually, let's stick this one on first. Let's grab our dimensionals. And we're going to flip this over and we will put dimensionals on the back. You know, so we're just really using cardstock, some a few different ink pads, and our stamps. And then the key is you pop something up on dimensionals and everything's amazing. Just giving it that little bit of dimension. So we'll stick that there. And with linen thread, I tend to double it. So I just kind of rough estimate that long. And then I'll double it here. Let me grab my scissors. Sorry, I think I just keep reaching in front of the camera there. And we're going to go ahead, it was pretty curly, bring it around, and then I'm going to just tie a bow. Now, I like to tie my bows upside down. Learned that trick many, many years ago, and it works way better, at least for me, to um, have the tails of the bow then going downward, okay? And it my bows tend to lay a little bit nicer. Then after I tie it, we can just kind of pull on it, get it the size we want. With two loops, I like to try to pull one piece a little bit shorter than the other, and then you can see the, the two different loops in that bow better. So there's that. Then after we've tied it, we can go ahead and snip that off. There we go. Then we're gonna use a piece of smoky slate for our card base. Just kind of carrying out that black, um, and let it go into that nice light gray. But look at how those colors just pop along with our greeting. So there's the front. Now we need to always finish the inside. And anytime I use colored cardstock, I like to put a piece of white on the inside. Usually cut just four by five and a quarter. But I think it just makes the inside look a little more finished than writing your greeting on there. So we have another one of the stamps from that stamp set. Uh, let's see here. So the front says, love is what makes us family. 
Uh, let's sort of somewhat center that. And inside, miles apart, but still in my heart. And then let's stamp. Let's take our nice bright melon mambo there. And quite often I'll stamp an image two times. You kind of get two different shades by doing that. Um, gives you a little bit more dimension as well. Let's see. I don't know where I want to go. There we go. Okay, there is our inside. So let's go ahead, put a little adhesive on there and stick that on the inside of our card. And we are done. So very simple card, just stamp sync and paper, add a little linen thread, pop up that greeting. And I've got a great card just to send to a family member. You know, like I said, this stamp set, I love the fun greetings in here. Cherish friend, trust me, you're lovely. It's just on and on, but great for inside and outside in our nice little floral images. So I hope you like my card today. Again, check out my website. You'll find the link down in the description of the video. I'll have pictures of this along with a list of supplies that I used. And if you need a catalog or you need a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be that person. You can request that right from my blog. So I will stamp with you again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.